Tapas, as we all know, are Spanish appetizers. They can be very simple and yet very complex. And they can be cold and hot. And they can be uh, gastronomic as well as uh, very, very elegant and simple. The history of tapas is that it started in the Spanish bodegas, basically the wine taverns where wine used to be served and then they used to be covered with a small piece of bread with a slice of ham or something. And then it just caught on this culture and today it has become a way of life and it's a celebration. Tapas is a very wonderful way to eat food because they come in small portions. They are sometimes in finger foods or in small plates and you know they can be shared and they can be enjoyed over a long duration of time. The tapas menu at Capeberry has a wide selection of vegetarian and non-vegetarian tapases. Good examples of vegetarian tapases that have been there in the Capeberry menu for a while are filo parcels and we change the stuffings from time to time. Currently we have a leek and asparagus stuffing and it's served with a saffron alioli and also with a bravas sauce. Uh, we also have the Capeberry style pasta bravas which is basically potatoes poached in olive oil and it is topped with a brava sauce and alioli and it is also served with a parsley chlorophyll alioli which is uh, makes it special and we also have a romesco powder for a little bit more flavor and elegance and then we have also a very innovative dish which is the bell pepper espuma which is also a part of our tasting menu and this is something that is very light and it is like a light souffle and it is smoked and it is served with a flavors of sesame oil, sesame seeds, and then we have togarashi in it, and then we also have the tahina. So this makes it a very interesting and exciting dish. We have a cheese platter where we serve a variety of Spanish and Italian cheeses, and this includes the mahon, uh, the manchego, the idia zabal, uh, then we also have the camembert and likes of those. So this is also very, very popular with the vegetarians and you, you can enjoy it with some uh, red grapes and uh, you know, marinated apple. Then we also serve some marinated olives with it and mushrooms. So there's a lot of variety of things that we serve it with. We also have a carrot and orange formato which is served with a quinoa salad. This is a very different kind of tapas. It's very enjoyable for the vegetarians and the tapas platter which is an assortment of tapas is also very very popular in Capeberry. When we talk about non-vegetarian tapas the selection is quite vast. Uh, we start with the prawn ala kio. It's a classic Spanish tapas. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, prawns cooked with olive oil and chili and garlic and then we add a little bit of cherry tomato and olives to it to give it a different dimension. Uh, besides that we have the chorizo a la plancha. A la plancha means cooked on the grill. So the chorizo is cooked with baby potatoes and cherry tomatoes on the grill and served with some chorizo oil which we extract by adding olive oil into it. So it's a beautiful color, uh, grilled beautifully and you know very very good in taste. The baked mussels uh, from New Zealand are also one of the very very popular tapases here. It is marinated with uh, some mustard, some white wine and garlic and then we have some panko crumbs with it and it's very very delicious. Uh, we also have a, a traditional you know serrano ham which is served with uh, figs and asparagus and almond. Uh, the chicken stuffed uh, mushroom caps a la plancha is becoming very very popular. Chicken is very popular in India and this is a very very flavorsome uh, chicken dish where the flavor of the mushrooms and the chicken it comes together to create a juicy kind of a uh, tapas which is so beautiful and delicious. Last but not the least, uh, the deconstructed fidua which is uh, basically a main course uh, but we have made it into a small tapas. So basically this is a lamb ragu and then we serve it with a, a crispy uh, rice noodle on top of it and it has got crunchy as well as the robust flavors of lamb and this makes it a very very delicious tapas. So come by and enjoy the tapas life.